Hello everyone and welcome to season four of the Horizon Grand Prix video series. I'm Steven. Topic of this video today is hydrosticks and hydrofill. So we're gonna go into some details that you need to know about how to fill your hydrosticks with the hydrofill. So right off the bat, your hydrofill, when you plug it in, you're gonna notice there is a blinking red light here. That means that your hydrofill is ready to work. So what you want to do is if we can get the over the shoulder cam here, you're gonna notice that there are two sides to this. You wanna fill it on the side with the blue donut. So you simply take your distilled or deionized water only, not tap water, distilled or deionized water only. And you wanna fill up the side with the blue donut just to about the top of the donut. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're just over the top of the donut. And as we do that, you're gonna notice that the lights will change immediately. So we notice that our blinking red turned to solid green. Solid green means you're good to start charging. So at that point, you take your hydro stick, you screw it in. You don't wanna screw it in too crazy tight, just enough to where you see the blinking green turn into a solid red. At the point of a solid red, you're good to go. And from that point, you have about five to seven hours to wait per stick. So just realize that each stick does take a long time to charge and set up your schedule accordingly, basically, as soon as you get these, start charging them. As, if, as soon as you get them, charge them and just build your schedule out from there. It makes life a lot easier in the long run. Um, and uh, one thing to understand about charging these, if you charge them early, don't have to worry about leaving them sitting there on the shelf because the hydrogen itself will not escape. They're not really pressurized. Uh, they are, the hydrogen is stored as a solid within the stick through metal hydride. So just understand that you can leave them there. It's okay, not a big deal. <clears throat> Some other useful information uh, I think we need to know is the weight of the sticks and approximately what these sticks are worth as far as energy. So one stick is worth about 10 watt hours worth of electrical energy. Also one stick weighs on average between 91 and 93 grams. There is a little bit of a variance there, um, but just know that the average is right between that. Also the difference between a empty to a full stick is about one gram. Also understand that there is a bit of a variance there. I would say if you're between half a gram to anywhere up to 1.2 grams full, you're, you're right in where you should be. So about a gram, but more or less. Um, and then it's one, so when, while you're weighing these, you really wanna be as accurate as possible. So wh wh when you're weighing them, use a digital scale, preferably a jeweler scale, but something that can measure at least to the hundredth or the second decimal place, because you wanna be, again, as accurate as possible. So. Uh, if you have brand new sticks, right, it's pretty easy. You just throw them on the scale, get your baseline measurement, and then you fill them and you get your measurement after. That way, if you grab any stick randomly, make sure you number it also. But you know, okay, I have stick 34, stick 34 weighs X amount, oh, that's full. Okay, so that's just kind of where it helps you. Um, but if you have a whole bunch of sticks here and they're not new and you're not sure how fully charged they are, empty them completely. How do you do that? It's pretty easy. You grab your regulator, screw it onto your stick, all the way, you can hear that. And don't worry if you have this sit on your desk and that you, you hear that, that's fine. That's just the excess oxygen venting out. It might catch you off guard, but don't worry, it's normal. So at this point, we can no longer hear the hydrogen escaping from this, but I assure you it's not completely empty. A good test you can do is you leave it sitting on the desk for a few hours, you come back and grab it and do the water test. The bubbles indicate we're not empty. So let it sit there for a few more hours, come back, you check it out and when it's completely empty, then you're good. Um, so just remember that if you're having trouble with any of this or if any of this isn't making sense, reach out to me, let me know, and I will help you in any way I can. But before you do that, do a couple things on your end. Please uh, read the manual if you have access to it. If not, let me know and I'll, I'll get you access to it. But read the manual, that's gonna help you troubleshoot most of your problems. Also, if you're noticing that the lights are doing something weird that you're not used to, if you look here on the back, we get our over the shoulder cam here. Right about there, you'll see that there's some specs on here, which is good information to know, but also there is a status indicator of lights. Uh, and this just tells you what each of these lights mean. So if you're confused, turn it around, read the back, that'll give you all the information you need to know. If you're still stumped, reach out to me and I will help you in any way I can. Everyone, please just remember, we are not perfect in these videos. We do make some mistakes. So if you catch any, please let us know in the comments below. Other than that, uh, we will look forward to seeing you in our next video. 
Steven with Ryzen. We'll see you later.